We interrupt you from live NHL action to bring you this Pharmacy News broadcast. Hi there, and welcome to the annual edition of the CSHP Pharmacy News. My name is Leandro Avila, let's get you in the know. CSHP has unveiled six new goals as a part of its 2015 initiative set. These new objectives, as laid out by the Canadian Society of Hospital Pharmacists, apply specifically to hospitals and other healthcare related settings and serve to outline the expectations of future pharmacy, uh, hospital pharmacy practice. So, what exactly does this mean to you? We now take you live to our correspondent Jose as he delves into the first goal and why you, as a patient, might be seeing a little more of your pharmacist the next time you arrive at your local hospital. Jose? Hey, I'm Jen. I'm from Pharmacy. I'm just doing a med interview. Do you want to ask you a few questions? Jen is part of a med rec team whose sole job is to interview patients for medication histories. CSHP's first goal pushes hospital pharmacists to help inpatients gain the best use of the medications, but for starters, they need to know exactly how meds are actually being taken at home. Currently, preventable drug-related morbidities happen in about 1 in 7 older adults. About half of those are considered preventable. CSHP's own reports show that only about 2% of complex and high-risk patients received medication counseling by a pharmacist upon discharge as of 2010. Major changes to treatment are common and discharge is usually the best time to have pharmacists personally help you understand and schedule your new medications before venturing off on your own. Pharmacists can help you explain how to keep you best safe, compliant, and most importantly, out of the hospital. This is Jose for CSHP News, signing off. We now join an outpatient clinical team for a live patient discussion. Mrs. Smith, 30 years old patient with chronic kidney disease, is our next patient. Her lab values are back. Her phosphate levels are up and her calcium levels are pretty low, so I'm thinking of increasing her calcium dose. Okay, she's using um, her calcium in between her meals. I recommend adding some calcium during her meals and that will help lower the phosphate level as well. And I've asked her to cut down on her chocolate consumption and this should help lower her phosphate levels. Yeah, I noticed that she was on Ontario work, so I can get the calcium covered through the government. That sounds good. Um, can you help me make a medication administration calendar? Absolutely. Perfect. So let's just quickly recap what just happened there. Five separate clinicians from five different fields work collaboratively to one, address the patient's lab test results. Two, develop a treatment plan for that patient. Three, address the patient's contributing problems and needs. And four, provide the patient with some tools so that they have some independence at home. By 2015, your pharmacist will be expected to manage your medications collaboratively, similar to the way you just saw right there in that video. So now the new challenge, where is the evidence? Are the drugs or treatments that you're being prescribed actually medically appropriate for you? CSHP, uh, CSHP has reinforced in its 2015 goals that pharmacists help clinicians stay evidence-based in their practice. But how exactly are pharmacists doing that? Dr. Stewart, do you have a second? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know Mr. Sparrow, the one in room 314? Yeah. Um, as you know, he has heart failure and he's being discharged today. Mm -hmm. But I notice he's not on an AC bitter medication. Okay. You know, this medication helps improve survival in people with heart failure. Mm -hmm. Wanted to know if you would consider adding this on to his regimen. Yeah, that's that's a great idea. Okay, great. So I will go talk to the patient and answer any questions he has and explain the benefits of these medications. Sure, sounds good. Okay, thank you. My name is Rabia. I'm a hospital pharmacist and I work in the pediatric intensive care unit as well as the general medicine floor. Pharmacists in the hospital are involved in many different initiatives. From a patient safety point of view, pharmacists are involved in um, developing pre-printed orders. So this is to help different specialties in the hospital order drugs in accordance with guidelines that help guide physicians and um, other prescribers. We're also um, trying to automate as many processes as possible, so we've gone to unit dose um, dispensing here at the hospital. It helps reduce wastage and increase the efficiency. Nurses now go to a screen and dispense the tablets or uh, whatever medications according to their patient's profile. And there's a barcoding system involved with that, so now they know that they're choosing the right product for the right patient. So don't hesitate to ask. Most hospitals have some ongoing community initiative at all times. CSHP expects this involvement to ramp up, as well as the hospital involvement in local community initiatives regarding emergency preparedness. And that's going to do it for us tonight. I hope you shed some light on what pharmacists for the near future are currently doing behind the scenes. Pharmacists are a great resource for, for health information and support. So talk to your pharmacist today. Thanks for watching.